jQuery makes it really easy to select specific elements in the DOM. If I wanted to select an element, like this one for example, or maybe if I wanted to collect a collection of elements, like these two list items, I can use jQuery selectors to quickly access them. Remember how we could pass a string into the jQuery object? We call this string a jQuery selector, in that it allows us to select a part of the DOM. You can use jQuery to select a collection of DOM elements based on tag name, class name, or ID. I'll start with selectors by tag name. Passing a string of the tag name will result in a jQuery collection of all the elements of a certain tag. I'll test this by opening up my browser's JavaScript console on the Udacity website, which, as you may remember, uses jQuery. If I wanted to do something with all the divs on the screen, I could select them by passing div into the jQuery object. And there we go. We can open up the object that got returned to see a collection of DOM elements. In a moment, you'll be trying out selectors by manipulating a real website. In index.html, you'll find the site's HTML. And in app.js, you'll be writing JavaScript to modify the page. You can press the test run button to see what the page looks like. Notice how we have this comment in the app.js file. For this quiz, set the list elements variable equal to a jQuery collection of all the list elements on the page. Hit submit when you're done. Here's a quick hint. You can check your answer with the console. If you console.log the list elements variable, you can open up the browser console to see if you've selected the jQuery collection that you wanted. 